We're live. So we're here at Life in Harlem. We especially today want to thank Jazz Foundation of America for everything they are doing this holiday season. Thanks to JFA. What's up, Bill Glass and everybody over there? Oh, uh -huh. 
trumpet. Again. <laughs> Cedric Woodwind.
one by Kenny Durham called Blue Bossa. We're live in Parlor Entertainment here in Sugar Hill Hall. Marjorie Elliott. <laughs>
Thanks to everybody out there, those who are tuning in maybe just now, those who may have to tune away. The point is that we are here live streaming every Sunday from 3.30 to 5.30. Thanks for joining us for any amount of time you could spend.
arrow sharp with sticks. With much sneakiness, they viciously plunge their sharp and forks into the fish, tossing them onto beds of fire. In crude ritual, crude serve. At the river's edge, making vulgar, pleasurable laughter as the fish whimper and moan and die. The monstrous men chant in empty, merciless tone without beauty or purpose. In an instant, the sun hides. Every visible piece of sky swirls round and round in tearful clusters of deep purple rainbows. Pilgrimage along the frigid path of the river's bank. 
The celebration of the great rain was upon us. My learned papa saw God's merciful blessing of renewal in all the thunderous roar and knife sharp and lightning and rain pelts with the heaviness of stone. around our bodies in despairing monotone. Was the great rain making laughter? Did the gods chose this moment to end whatever feeble African plea? Our souls kept tearfully hidden. Hidden we knelt in the grass. It was no longer green. The early morning dew was sprinkled with blood. My hands had the look of purple tinged madness. Are my eyes speaking with lies? My whole being was questioning my beloved Papa. As if possessed, I shouted, never, never to Papa. God's choir of angels wept into puking the smoke. With a shame face and regretful eyes, I placed with my hand to Papa's heart. In language of calm, go true, we knelt on the Riverbank, where the monster man spat in the eyes of God's merciful entreaty. They chose hellfire, did they not? Please, Papa, please, Papa, what state of madness has taken hold of you? Listen to my words. I not shall never reach the lofty heights of yours, but I shall defy you. I shan't kneel here in their murderous stench. They be heartless killers of our beloved mamas and papas. How can we dishonor the ancestry of our Congo? Congo truth with Papa's eyes. Listen, see.
and always the music. Dancing, laughter, stories, vivid lyricism. They share a kinship, a rhythmic language beyond earthly understanding. My papa takes no heed of their jet black English. Papa's tongue was without thought. His arrogant tinged words always chilled my heart. Within a flash of the eye, Papa's sin filled world, a blue eyed, green eyed artifice was bloody, blinded, silenced. No, 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 surely there be much good in my dear Papa. The chocolate coated, ageless man defied the blue eyed, green eyed monster man. He lifted me up into his arms. He carried me to safe haven. What manner of goodness doth this be? Why should he care for me? My eyes glisten with small measure of worthiness. My papa owned him and slayed him neath the sun in fierce raindrops. Why should he place a, these healing hands on my ravaged body? A chocolate-coated boy, much like myself, spoke very brave words to me. From the gift, gilt edged windows of the, of the grand hilltop house, wrapped in a halo of sadness, waiting, wishing, questioning. You stared into the beauty of this flower bedecked valley, laced with a wretched, sin filled madness. Of your own papa, his papa, and all the many golden crowned papas. Your eyes call it to my beloved. Your beloved Papa lay before me. 
the music maker. I trust I was properly humble in my thanks to him. I shall love him forever. I shall forgive him. My eyes crinkled with tears. What manner of goodness shall please me? I remember, I remember whisperings, gentle. Your dear papa's words shall be with me through my whole life. They lay it upon my heart. Music. It is life. It is Congo truth. The music of thy soul shall make a revelation to you. Always my heart maketh rhythmic spirals of music and vents of true African magic. God maketh this gift to me and mine. Today, your tears belong to me. In true African, you shall be made whole. You and, and me, hands and twine, with faith in the Creator of us all, shall find that which is beautiful and good together. Dear Papa's kind hands, his generous heart, this moment belongeth to you and to me. The boy placed a flute fashioned in the shape of a willow's branch at my feet. He began to play his flute. It matched mine. He looked at me. We shall make music for Papa. He sits at the south river's edge, remembering tears. Congo truth. The music maker. Dreams. Memories. Music. Life.
drums were traveling through the raindrops. I huddled neat the bright green, yellow gold window canopy, peeping into the magic moments. Wednesday night jam session, St. Nick's pub. History lessons can't be found on the library shelves. My music academy, daytime, nighttime, the music never stops. I go every night, I practice for hours, every day, getting ready for my moment. same spot, holding my trumpet, shining and pretty. I know all the songs they play in my sleep. I never get called up. I stay until closing. cornflower blue suits, matching shirts, and ties. Pretty sight. They step right into Duke Ellington's Don't Mean a Thing if it, if it ain't got that swing. Wow. The ladies dance their way to the stage, high stepping, swaying hips. <laughs> they bow in thanks to the musicians, applaud in thanks to the audience. It's a pretty, pretty sight. stuffed a matching handkerchief in my pocket. He ushered me to the stage, positioned me right next to the piano. He played this gorgeous, expansive, single chord introduction. I didn't even know he played the piano. His eyes locked with mine. He never looked at the keys. You pick, he said. We played five songs in every key, real and imagined. journey with Jake. 
I discovered the truth of me. Jake told me hard truths. Coming in with a glowing trumpet, posi positioning yourself in some invisible spotlight, don't mean a thing, nothing. Our creator has given you something special. Special. It's all yours. There's no color attached to it. And if you remain true to this rare gift, it will open up the window to your soul. Shape all the pieces of your life. This church was wedged in a little alleyway behind the Union Hall. Grant Chapel Me Methodist Church was at the other end of the Union Hall. Mount Calvary Holiness was down the stairs across the street facing the whites only Union Hall. Your dear grandfather's name is in a place of honor in the lobby of the Union Hall. The whites only sign is gone. When hunger and sickness hits in really big numbers, all the color lines get crossed. On our black side of the street, music saturates our soul. Jake put three books next to my trumpet case. There was a note. The books are not gift wrapped. You read them, you'll discover some more things about us folk you're choosing to hang out with. Philip, your trumpet solo that dedication day was a long, quiet, soulful embrace for your grandfather. Hold on to that memory. stage and the place fell silent. The mist of early morn brings sad eyes into the wakefulness of another light-filled day. Who am I? Little boy lost, living in the sweeping shadows of a heartless land. Where do I belong? In the heat of the noon sun, I move about with frightened caution. Do the masters of this artificial universe really see me? I, am I but a blackened, nameless shadow, roaming, searching, hiding, waiting for their taunting rage? 
Life's lessons are many. I carry the scars of defiance. I have trained my tears to stay buried deep in my soul. The overseer's strap bloody the length of my spine. Little boy lost, dare I dream of someday knowing the origins of me? In the darkest night, when the sun makes way for the stars, I sleep and dream without fear in a thicket of jungle-like wilderness. I awaken to the joyous choirs of birds and crickets and the skippiness of rabbits. I eat berries washed clean by the morning dew. I stand in a sweet-smelling patch of rainbow-colored sunflowers. My heart reacheth for, he for heaven's welcome. God speaketh to me. I am whole within myself. Hatred shall not poison my life. I hide beneath the daytime mask. I raiseth my hands to the window of the sun. Their blackened beauty sparkles with Congo light. Little boy lost, the emptiness of the blue-eyed, green-eyed monster men's lashings beareth witness to the searing senselessness of evil. My soul is not enslaved. My eyes locked with Jake's, the words tumbled out. I didn't look at the book, they were seared on my brain. I can't erase the whites only signs. I can't say I love you, Jake. Thank you.